Hey guys, here he is here and welcome along to another video. I get asked all the time to do a setup video, so I needed a video. So I thought, why not show you around the new space? We've gone and covered from home to our old space, but since then we've moved to a new space and I thought I'd give you a rundown. So guys, this is it in all its glory. I bet you thought it was more glamorous than this, but really it is not. This is where all the so-called magic happens and somehow I defraud all of you into thinking I'm actually a good sim racer and a good content creator. But you guys have asked for it, so I'm gonna show you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go from left to right and I'm gonna show you absolutely everything. So let's start, let's take a seat down here. Let's start with the PC. Everything's a right mess. Look at all these cables, absolutely horrendous. My OCD will go off the charts at some point, but it's tolerable right now, so it's gonna stay that way. So starting left to right, we've got the Rain Gaming PC. The specs will be in the description down below. Absolute monster. Uh, 3080 is the graphics card, and yeah. That's all you kind of really need to know about it. When you say 3080, you know it's a bit of a beast. But check out all the uh, specs in the description down below if you want to know more about that. But to be honest with you, I can't really talk about it because I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it. So on top of that, we've got the Go XLR Mini, which is where I control all of my sounds. You've got the mic, we've got Discord, we've got the PS5 and we've got the PC. So you can change and mess around with all of these with these cool sliders. Hopefully that hasn't just messed everything up, uh, but it's quite satisfying to do. But that is how I control all the sound on the stream. We've got obviously the TV remote there for the big TV, which I'll get into in a minute. Hello everyone. And we've got the Elgato cam link here, which is connected to this camera here, the one that you see me look into all day, every day. So that is what's going on down here. We've got the PS5 down here, and I know I shouldn't keep these things on the floor because of dust. I will move them at some point, but right now they're on the floor. They're on the floor. Just a quick mention down here, we've got the uh, MacBook. I've just got a MacBook Air to edit all of uh, my videos on. I'm actually editing one right now, as you can see on Premiere Pro. So that's what's down there, really, really good to um, edit everything on, absolutely monsters, everything, fantastic bit of kit. So we've covered the PC, we've got where our sound comes from, our PS5, what we do most of our editing on. So moving up, we have got the big TV, hello again. 46 inch, I wanna say, LG, fantastic, fantastic. Um, I didn't really want to go for the triple screens. People say to me, why, do you want triple, why don't you want triple screens? To be honest, I like to have you guys there on chat, which we'll get to in a moment. And plus, obviously, I do Gran Turismo quite a lot. So, yeah, I don't think a triple screen would help. Also, it will absolutely beast the PC, which I don't want. This place gets hot enough as it is, hence why I've got that fan there. So I just don't want to fry it with two more ginormous screens. So... That is why I have the one big LG monitor, which is fantastic. I say monitor, it's not a monitor, it's a TV. Uh, but yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. That is sitting on the GT Omega Prime monitor mount. Fantastic again, brilliant. You guys know how much I love GT Omega. Everybody who buys GT Omega absolutely loves it as well. Yeah. It's just brilliant. I've got the prime rig down here. I've got the XL seat here, comfortable. I sit in it all day, every day, and it's attached to the monitor stand. So this is actually separate to, this is actually separate to the rig. And the rig itself is on caster wheels. Guys, get caster wheels for your rigs because then you can just move it around, really, and it makes things just so, so much easier. On the rig, we've got the Fanatec DD1. We've got 
the McLaren GT3 rim attached to that. We do also, of course, down here, have the Gran Turismo rim, which I interchange out. We also got the Porsche rim, but I don't actually have that in here. That's at home, that's for safe keeping at home, just for space reasons, to be honest. We've got the V3 pedals. Again, absolutely indestructible. Brilliant, they've got the brake performance mod on them, one of each color. Absolutely brilliant. They This combo powers me to being a wonderfully mediocre sim racer. If you want to get in the mid pack, like me, this is the stuff <laughs> for you. I'm sure you'll do much better than I can. Down here, we've got the Stream Deck. I control everything on the stream for that. I just got the mini one because I don't have that many buttons to be honest. You've got the intro, you've got me, then you've got the racing. That's about it. Not really too much. Don't need one of these gargantuan ones that's set up on here that costs like 200 quid. So we've got the nice little one here, nice and efficient. Below that, we've got the Joby Gorilla Pod holding my foot cam. I don't know if you can see that, which is just a Logitech. Hopefully that's in shot. Yeah, just about. Just a Logitech webcam, really, firing onto the pedals down there. So you can see my feet as they go to work. Um, on here, on the seat itself, we just got a generic Logitech keyboard and mouse. Just allows me to not have an actual keyboard and mouse. I do actually have the pedal tray in this box of goodies down here. Uh, not pedal tray for you, keyboard tray, but I haven't actually done that yet. So once that's on, it's all ready. I've got everything in here, as you can see. Once I get around to putting that on, this may well become redundant. But for now, it's brilliant. It's been good old faithful as well. I've got two cushions on my rig. I've got the Everlasting Comfort. And I've also got the, what is this one called again? The Supporty Back. The supporty back. So I put these together like this, not because the seat's uncomfortable, but because I do this all day, every day, I like to make sure I'm super comfortable. So I've got that in there. Links in the description down below, again, if you want to get those. So very, very comfy indeed as I take another seat. Oh, God, it feels good. So this is everything from down here. Up, up, up. We've got the wheel. And then looking over here, it gets a bit busy, but I'll talk you through it all. So we've got the Elgato mic arm here with a short SM7B with plentiful fluff on it. For me, the best sounding microphone in the game by a country mile. That is connected all the way up and over here into the back of the GoXLR and in his you can mess around with it like that. You can mess around with it like that. So that is the mic. It's just absolutely fantastic. Um, that is all. That is actually just on this. It plays with my OCD slightly that this is silver. We may have to uh, cannibalize some of the aluminium extrusion in the bottom of this box to get it black, but it does the job for now. As you know, I've recently just moved, so I wanted to get the stream up and running in the first place, but that's the mic. Nestled in between here is the Sony 5100 or A5100 camera. My webcam connected over the back again via the cam link to OBS, which is the system that I run. Fantastic. They don't actually make these anymore, but they're brilliant. So if you can get hold of one and you wanted to stream, go for it. Go for it. That is connected by some jiggery pokery arm here. Goes all the way down here, infinitely adjustable. Sits down there so you can move it all about. There it is from the back. I don't know which one it is. It's the best one on Amazon. But they're all very much the same. I've already got the Elgato one, just so that it kind of matches everything else. But it was going to take too long to get here and I wanted to get it sorted before I went away. So uh, that is in place there. Finally, we've got the monitor here. Tiny little Samsung monitor. Just your generic Samsung monitor switched on its side like this. I have got chat in there. That is where the majority of you guys sit all day, every day. So that is basically about it from there. That is basically about it. So here's all the rig. Here's the PC, the PlayStation, 
the big TV, the camera, the second screen there, how it's all connected. So that's basically everything that we have from a streaming point of view. And then we've got some other bits and bobs that you may be interested in. So here is the Yeti Rambler cup that I use, that I drink out of all day, every day that you see me sipping away at. Fantastic thing as well. Actually, is this, this video, I think, if you haven't noticed, is actually sponsored by the word fantastic. Don't know why I keep saying that. I sound like only going to Solskjaer, but brilliant, brilliant thing. Costs a few quid, but it's brilliant. We've got some sliders here that could do with a clean. Apologies about that. Because we have socks. Rather than changing into my shoes wherever I need to nip off stream to get a coffee or go for a wee or something, I just jump into these sliders and I don't have to worry about it. These are my socks that you see me wearing all day, every day. Thankfully, there's not smell of vision invented because these, I imagine, if you get too close, will absolutely stink. All heel treads, 787B, the Master 787B, Alpha 155, BMW, Fina, Ayrton Senna, and the Triple Five BAR, now banned livery. So they're the five socks that are on rotation. Got my bag here that I come uh, to school, to the office with every single day. We've got the box of good, good goodies, box of goodies, I should say, not goodies. Um, it's got a light in here. It's got, uh, that's the uh, big Elgato key light, as you can see down there. We've got the keyboard tray in here and some just spare aluminium bits and bobs and some stuff to put things together. A Sim Racers must, the Allen key set, like a Bosch right there. And another thing that we're gonna need is, or that you will need, is a fan. So that keeps everything tolerable. Not cool, but tolerable. One day I'll get a fancy Dyson one. But for now, that will do. So that, guys, as requested, is my current setup. I'm sure it will change. As sim racers, we are always tinkering, messing about with things. But that is... Oh, I forgot to say as well. These are my headphones here. My Sony XM, XM4s, I think they are. A bit gutted about buying those, to be honest, because... I bought them and in a month later the XM5 came out. But we'll go with it, we'll go with it. They're the ones that I wear all day, every day. And yeah, that is everything. I think pretty much explained in one take. Guys, that is everything that I use to run this mediocre sim racing channel. I hope that it gave you guys what you need and gave you a little bit of an insight into how I do what I do and what I use. I know a lot of people ask me about what equipment I use and how I do this and how I do that. But this, guys, is literally all of it. This is my little sim racing cave here. This is where I come to work every day and try and entertain you guys. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, please do, as always, leave a like on the video. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Links to absolutely everything that should be in the description as well. So go check that out. Most of it you can get from Amazon and obviously Fanatec and GT Omega, etc. etc. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, and that's about it. I'll see you very, very soon. Cheers.